What's up, family? Man. Man, I'm so hungry. I'm, st I'm just so hungry. But I got to deliver this message. The Lord wants you to stop eating. Mm. No, nah, I'm joking. Lord wants you to go on a fast. And he don't want you to go on a fast like me and be just, oh, so, so hungry with your hoodie on. I'm so hungry. He don't want you to go on a fast like that. He wants you to go on a, a fast that's going to lead you to a better. Oh, I don't know where I was going there. But he wants to lead you on a fast fast that take away your evil past he wants you to go on a fast to let you forget about the things that you've done he wants you to go on a fast so you can get that spiritual power up and get that spiritual boost that you need to go through these days that's coming the lord says he has something great coming for you but for, for you to receive that you gotta take your hoodie off you gotta look beautiful <laughs> you gotta look beautiful man you got to get up early in the morning, do your makeup, do your face, wash your face, brush your teeth. Because I know y'all don't be brushing your teeth before y'all go to work, before y'all go to school. Y'all just get up and walk out the house. Nah, I'm just playing with y'all. But he wants you to go on a fast. And not just fasting from food, but going on a fast from eating. I mean, I just said food. But from social media, from video games, like from me. For me, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all might be like, oh, he's a kid. But candy, bro. I've been on a sugar rush lately. I got like, for an Easter, we had this Easter egg hunt for the teenagers at um, church. And I ain't gonna lie. They had some golden eggs with money in them. I'm like, I don't care about them golden eggs. I want some candy. I had like a bag full of eggs. And I just put them in my shoebox. That's how much candy I had. It filled up like half my shoebox. And I wear like a size 13. Not too much on my feet. But... Yeah, I've been eating candy like crazy. So, he, he's been calling me to fast from, from candy because I'm kind of been hurting my teeth. But not too much because I do be flossing. I do be flossing. God, no, me trying to come for me. But, <laughs> but, like I was saying, if he's calling you to fast from something, if he's calling you to stop, because... You only got 24 hours out the day, right? And you sleep in most of them. You sleep in like eight. So that's how many? Like 16, right? Ooh. Right? Oh, I got that right off the top of my head. 16 hours up in a day. Then you got eight hours of school. That's eight, right? Yep, eight. Mm-hmm. Mental math, you know, I'm smart. Um, so what are you doing for the rest of them eight hours a day? Like when you get off of work or when you get out of school, some people be getting off work at later. Some people might work nine hours. Some people might work 10 hours. But what are you doing for the rest of that day? Because after those eight hours and you only have eight hours left in a day, when you get home, I know you're relaxing for like at least 30 minutes. Because I know when I get home from school, I'm... Uh, laying down for at least 30 minutes before I get back up. I let the dogs outside. I be forgetting about the dogs outside. They be up in there barking. Then I got to remember, I got to let the dogs back in the house. So then, then I'm spending 30 minutes thinking about what to eat because that 30 minutes, I was just scrolling on TikTok. So I don't know, that's 30 minutes right there. And then I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat because I'm indecisive. I don't know what I'm going to eat. So I'm like, ooh, should I eat this? Should I eat that? I'd be so hungry. I'd just be wanting to eat everything. But like, oh, I'm going to eat this, that, and that. And then when I eat one thing, I'm like, nah, I'm full. I'm like, I'm not even going to try to eat nothing else. Then I, then I had a thought. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just eat it later. When I get hungry again. So once I eat the first time, and I got to relax when I eat. I got to turn on YouTube on my iPad, or I got to turn on YouTube on the TV. I got to set everything up before I get to cooking and eating. Then while my food warming up or whatever I'm doing, I'm setting up my little area to food eat. I got my drinks. I got my 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 Demarcus playing. 
I, I, I'm ready. Then I spend like 20 minutes eating, 20, 30 minutes. So that's an hour going right there. We got seven hours left. And then I take a nap because after I eat, I'll be, be full. I'll be full. I'll be full. So then I go lay down, take a nap all the way to like about seven, eight o'clock. Depending on what day it is. If it's like a Wednesday like today, I didn't take no nap today, but on like today I'll wake up at seven for Bible study. But you know, then you only got a couple hours left in your day, like 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 two hours, three hours left. Then you gotta go back to sleep. So what are you really doing throughout the day? I know I'm sleeping. But throughout that day, with them eight hours that you have left, are you spending four watching Netflix, watching The Flash on Netflix? Because I love The Flash. But Green Arrow better. And Or are you watching Grey's Anatomy? What are you doing? I'm not telling you what to do throughout your day, but like, then when you about to go to sleep, you only got like two minutes for your Bible. And I'm not saying this to judge y'all because I do the same thing. Not even, not even trying to judge. I haven't even read my word today. I'm about to. But who says that I'm not going to read it for two, three minutes and then go back to go to sleep? Well, no, no one's perfect, but he's calling you to go on. If he's calling you to go on a fast or if he's calling you to fast from whatever it is, it may not be from food, it may not be from this or that, but it might be from social media. It might be from TV, but whatever it is, just do it because it's trying to benefit you. So today, I'm just saying, if he's calling you to go on a fast and you think he's calling you to go on a fast, just be obedient. And you can go on a fast with me. I'm going to try to go seven days. My highest, my highest fast in days. The most I've fasted for is like three days. Yeah, from like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. No food at all, just water. And I ain't gonna lie, I felt great. I was feeling energized. And after that meal, I went to sleep, woke up the next day, did the same. I ain't gonna lie, fasting is really good when you get past like the first and second day. That third day gonna feel like a breeze. Not for everybody, but for me it did. But I felt like just stopping there. But today we're going to try to go as long as we, this week, we're going to try to go as long as we can. And am I going to make it to the end? I don't know. Am I going to make it past that goal? Maybe so. But you won't know until you try. So if the Lord's calling you to do it fast, just go in it. And don't be up in there with your hoodie on like I was at the beginning of the video. Oh, I'm so hungry. Ask your friends for a snicker bar or a snicker doodle or some Skittles. Because what your body wants to do, he wants to take control over you. But when your body asks for food or when you're fasting, them temptations go come. You go get that headache or you go get that stomach ache. And your body's go, because your body's demanding it. It's not asking for it. Once it asks for it and you don't give it to it, now it's going to start demanding. Now your stomach going to be started hurting. Now your eyes gonna be looking at food when you don't even know you're looking at food. But once you get past denying your flesh, then it's gonna become a little bit easier and easier and easier and easier. And that's when you get in prayer. When them temptations come. That's when you get in prayer and you ask for, for the strength. You ask for strength and you ask for power. You ask for this and that. And you thank the Lord for giving you a body to fast. You thank the Lord for giving you the position you're in too fast. You know what I'm saying? So, if the Lord's calling you to fast, be obedient. Be obedient. From personal experience, I say be obedient. You should always be obedient. But that's just me. I'm just a messenger, not the deliverer. I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.